Hey everybody, have you ever wanted a house like this? Well now you can, so today I'm going to explain how to build this. So first step is location. You want to find a nice location? I went ahead and found this one and set it up. Next step is the instructions. So over here in this chest, I have all the blocks. This is a rough estimate of the blocks. I added a little bit extra. I do have the instruction list of the exact blocks you need. So I'm going to read them off now. But if you want, you know, you can, you know, just look at all these blocks. Um, but the exact list of blocks that I have here is 48 blackstone stairs, 24 blackstone slabs, 12 nether stairs, 60 acacia logs, 60 birch logs, uh, 5 redstone lamps, 56 panes, 24 shroom lights, 222 nether slabs, 98 red nether slabs, 4 doors, you're choosing, 192 logs, 628 glass, and 2 buckets of water. Now before we even go any further, I would like to say, all of this can change within your foundation. Uh, it's very customizable. The logs can be of your choosing. If you don't like spruce like I'm using, you can use something else. If you don't like purple, I'm using purple stained glass because I'm kind of designing my house after this picture. Yes, it's a picture of a kind of a weird lamp, um, but don't worry. We have very customizationable. Uh, the acacia logs and birch logs, I stripped. I stripped all the logs, but the acacia and birch I'm using for the floor and the spruce logs I'm using for the frame and then the glasses, well, good luck getting that much glass. This sucked. I am doing this in survival, which makes it way worse. If you would like, you can absolutely mute me. You don't need to mute me. You can mute me. Your choice. If you want to just watch and try to build as you follow along, go for it. If you want to listen to me kind of commentating every now and then, that's okay. Um, on top of that, I might be pausing every now and then when building this stuff. This is because I built this house when I was very young. And this is a replica because I built it when I was younger. And then I was like, I like that house. I want to try and build it again. I only have silk touch on a shovel. So if you see me break glass every now and then with a shovel, it's because I only have silk touch there. And I don't want to break any glass. Okay, so you're going to get something like that. And then all you have to do is mirror it to the other side. And after doing that, I'm adding glowstone or what is this? Shroom light lamps to the top corners. Uh, that is a pretty much the peak of the height of the base. So by the time you're done with that, you might have something that looks a little bit like this. Now what you're going to need to do is copy it three more times. There you go. I did it. <laughs> so it's the exact same, literally mirrored for the most part. So just do that three more times all the way around. Now we're going to get on the floor. So... I did the acacia and birch, so you can do whatever logs you want, and we just kind of do like a weaving pattern. If you ever watched Epic Meal Time, which, <laughs> are they still around? I should check them out. Uh, it's just like that, but instead of bacon, we're using birch logs. So we're going to wrap this up. So now we get towards the end. I do accidentally put birch here, but I already deleted it. We're going to smack these redstone lamps in here. Uh, however, they're off, so let's turn those on. I, you know, just put torches underneath them. It's not that difficult. But, okay, anyway. Whew. Next, we're going to start grabbing these stairs. This is where all the blackstone comes in. Um, not the nether slabs, all of it, but the blackstone do, do come in. Um, this might be a bit confusing, so you might want to be paying attention. Luckily, it is pretty much exactly mirrored and then copied for three more times around the whole thing. And stairs, stairs are usually a pain to mess with, so hopefully, hopefully it's not too confusing this part. And really, if you wanted to get weird with it, you could use any stone slabs and stairs, and you can even make your own patterns in this. Uh, this is just something simple I did just because it looks cool and it's not generic. Okay, so there we go. We do have the finished product there. So we're pretty much coming towards the end. And there it is. So this is the whole thing. And now you just need to copy it and move it over to the other places. What we're going to do is this is the frame of the base. Uh, the base of, uh, what is it? The hourglass. I threw these stairs in. So what you do, what I normally do is I put like three slabs and then I delete the second one. And then I put the stair there. Um, there you'll find hidden tricks as you go along. 
this little divot we aren't going to leave with a slab we're going to actually put a staircase in uh, I messed up here so my bad but we'll throw it on top like that and then bada bing bada boom this is pretty much gonna be one side we're almost done Okay, so you're gonna get a finished product of something like this. So then you just gotta do that. If you guessed it four, three more times, so <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be fun, gonna be repetitive. But as you can see, I did it here. Oh God. Next, we're going to take these, the redstone nether brick, or the red nether brick and the normal brick. Now, this is basically gonna be a roof of the base and also the base of the hourglass. You're going to see this a lot. This is going to be the important one. So, you can either leave it plain, or you can do something like I do, and I put a small little pattern in there. You can put a small little pixel art pattern of any type you'd like in there. I went for a simple heart design, I believe, so if you want to do a heart design, go ahead and follow this. If you want to put anything in there, you can put a triangle, you can put a circle, you can, you can make it whatever way you want. If you have a pixel art that you like that's small enough to fit in here, go for it. I went with a simple heart. And then um, at the top of the hourglass, you can you have to put a lid on it, I guess, which is similar to this. And what I did was I put a broken heart. So I have a heart on bottom and a broken heart on top just for a little bit of uh, mixing it up rather than it being repetitive of here's the exact same thing I did on the bottom but on top. That and I also ran out of um, red nether brick. But that's not my issue, all right? We're in survival. This was a lot harder in survival, so I will give you guys props if you follow it, oh my, it was uh, generally enjoyable. So you want to make sure to pop out that small hole because that's where the water is going to come through and we'll get to the water later. But this is the finished product of the roof. Yes, as you can see, it's just a heart design. Like I said, you can do anything you want. But now we're going to do the main hard part, which is the hourglass. So make sure you do grab all that glass. That way you don't have to keep coming back up and down and uh, grab all the logs you have because I don't think I do. I hope I do. But yeah, you're going to need a lot of glass. Make sure you have silk touch or backup glass. Now we're gonna start in the corners with these three wood blocks up. Uh, I went with, sh uh, what is that, shaved wood? What is, whatever that's called. Mainly because I think it's better, in my opinion. It looks better for the build. Um, when I built this originally when I was a child, uh, I built it without that because it sh uh, peeled logs didn't exist when I built that. But we're gonna end up with something like that. It's a, nine, a three by three to create nine blocks. And then just the two pattern. And of course, you guessed it, we need to repeat it on all sides. So you're gonna have something ending up like this. Now we're going to get into the second layer, 
which is right now it's easy it's just you know intimidating uh so we're just gonna put down this and put up a little bit in the middle and you do want to kind of slowly go in uh towards the towards the middle point of being halfway done we're gonna get a kind of like bottle shape but we won't see that for a minute Now what I did halfway through here is I put a block up there so that way I can put the water down in case I fall down, I can now swim up. And that's the end design. And yep, there it is three more times. Very cool, very cool, very clean. It's already getting pretty tall. Um, yes, I'm on a mountain so I had to put torches around the water to melt it. Uh, now in those little divots that on that, we're going to go in and put in kind of uh, two blocks to you know be behind it. And uh, boop, boop, just kind of like that. And uh, then we're going to add the log and stained glass on top. So this might get a little bit confusing, but this is pretty simple in relative terms. We're going to get way worse, trust me. Uh, so then, yeah, just put those three there, put uh, the logs up, and mainly the divots is where it gets confusing. It's pretty simple, and then you just got to do it. Yep, three more times. Yay! <laughs> Bam, there we go, we did it three more times. And it's kind of like two Ys next to each other, really. It's a simple way to put it. So now we're gonna get on, what, the fourth wave? And this is where it gets confusing. Um, I messed up doing the top half because I changed a block here. So if you notice, I put a shroom light right here. When I flip the top upside down, I don't use shroom lights because I don't want lights in the top. Because this is a main room, the top I'm not really gonna go to. Uh, so I changed it. So make sure you pay attention, and we'll get more into detail on that. This is also a bit confusing because we're going to encase the shroom light in glass, and then we're going to go even higher. Uh, so that might be confusing. Don't don't worry. This is uh, arguably one of the weirdest spots. But uh, this is me counting, so don't worry about that. You just want to put the shroom light. I get a little bit confused here, but you're going to put a log on top of the shroom light. But we'll get to that in a second. For some reason. I'm jumping the gun and going all the way around, which doesn't really matter because we are getting close to the top or at least close to the middle to where it won't take that long. So I can do that, I guess. So this is the last little bit of glass and then there it is. All right. I was wondering when I was going to do it. You put the logs in. So yep. Ooh, I ran out of logs. Getting close. Boom. So there's another layer done. And now we even kind of have that bottle shape. If you, if I do look at it, which I think I will. Yeah, right here. Kind of getting towards a bottle shape, but not quite yet. So we're going to get on the next layer and we're going to put in another shroom light. You don't have to. I am for the sakes of lighting on this room. It's going to be a bit dark, so I'm throwing in some lighting. Here I'm checking if I'm doing it right because I've, I didn't take pictures like a normal human being nowadays. Uh, when I was looking at this on my old world from the 360, <laughs> I was like, oh, I wrote it down on paper because I'm an, I'm an idiot. So I have like blueprints that are the chicken scratch of a madman. And I'm just like, yeah, I can build that. <laughs> uh, ooh, this is the second to last. And this was relatively simple. You just go two blocks up after putting the shroom lights down and then you just connect them. That's right. And after you do that, you know, just do it. Three more times. And now we definitely have that bottle shape. Uh oh, I messed up there. So yeah, this is where Silk Touch comes in handy. Don't even worry about it. So we got that bottle shape coming in and it's looking kind of okay. We're almost halfway done. Well, I guess we would be halfway done because the base, this is halfway done at the hourglass. Now the final main layer of the hourglass, you're going to go three up in the middle and then just kind of fill it in with glass. And then this is the smallest section of the hourglass and you have successfully pretty much completed the hourglass now what you can do is turn this video in reverse and watch me do it reverse now i'm not going to show you i'm not going to show me doing a reverse but we'll get into that in a second so this is what you should have more of the bottle look see it even looks like a bottle right there <sighs> i went ahead and put the water i moved the water up because uh it's going to be a pain you're going to be going up and down quite a lot 
Now the reason this is all cut up is because I suck. I messed up. So just slowly do it in reverse. This is an easy one. It goes two down and then just two glass all around. But because I changed that shroom, that shroom light into a log, it broke my mind. This is me staring at it like a moron considering what I've done wrong. I don't know what I've done wrong at this point. I'm generally confused in real life. I get pretty angry. Here's me staring at it again because I'm like, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get what I'm doing wrong. Here's me staring at it at a, again. I'm just contemplating like, how did I mess this up? Am I stupid? I did this, I did this when I was younger. Here's me staring at it again. I was just so confused. I'm like, I don't, I was generally getting mad. Here's my Eureka moment. The log doesn't go higher than the other log. It goes to the exact same one because that inner log would have been a mushroom or a shroom light, not a mushroom. It would have been a shroom light. And I realized this and I go, oh my God, I'm stupid. So I throw these logs in. And then after figuring that out, uh, it was mainly down the hill. It was pretty easy. After that, it was like, all right, now just basically copy what I've done on the bottom and copy and paste. Oh, I was just, I got so lost because I changed the shroom light. So I will say, <sighs> Just follow it to a T. And now we're working on the cap of the house. Here we got um, kind of like the bottom where I put the heart in. This time we're going to put a broken heart in. So uh, I might double time this because it is pretty much the exact same as the bottom. But I do put a crack in the heart and that's pretty much it. So uh, enjoy, I guess, a speed climb. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. So here's me putting in the last bit. I had to go get it because I ran up short, so my bad there. And I, as you can see, I put some more water in there as like a kind of, I think a three by three, so nine water source blocks. So what you're gonna do is find any layer you can do and you can fill it up more or less of your choosing. I just did this layer. Um, I believe it leaves two spots as room. Here's me trying to get up because I'm dumb and didn't bring enough dirt, but don't worry about it. I brought the exact amount of dirt because I'm a hero. Uh, and now with those two water buckets, start filling this room up. You're going to make sure that every block up here is source blocks and it's quite easy. It, you know, it fills in pretty quick once you start getting certain sides done and then you fill in the edges and then it kind of all goes into a source block. Boom. After it's all source blocks, you know, just refill your buckets, of course. And now you get to remove the sheet of dirt. This is the fun part. Now be careful not to break the glass. That was a danger I had. I was sweating. I was hoping I didn't break glass. I don't think I did. So bada bing, bada boom. That is the top half done. Now we're down on the second floor. I blocked that off as you can see to pour it out. This room is going to be semi filled with water. And again, because I just went through like pain with the top half of this, I just was struggling here and I did this part like three or four times. Luckily I cut it out. This is the actual thing you want to do. As you can see, I just, I'm confused because I'm a moron. Uh, don't worry. Uh, we're going to make it, give it more of like a hourglass pouring into the bottom half of a look instead of it being like just, oh cool, it filled up the bottom half. We're going to kind of add more of a look. So we're going to add the water to kind of spill over here. I messed up and I made it go a little bit high and now I'm blocking off the water source because like I said, I just become brain dead, I guess. I don't know. I, I, my brain becomes goo because I don't know what I'm doing. Just go ahead and fill this thing up and then break it. Just break the edges, 
and that should be good enough. And it's gonna give you kind of like the sand pouring off the top of the sand, giving it more of the hourglass aesthetic. Now here I accidentally put the, the water into the half slab because you can waterlog blocks now, which I kind of forgot. And then you're just gonna fill in the room. Make sure you're putting it on the glass because you can't waterlog glass, thank God. <laughs> and bam, it turns the whole thing into that. And now you have this. I'm gonna refill my water buckets and I'm gonna break this block to lower into the bottom half. And as you can see, I waterlogged again. So I put the water bucket there and I just suck it up. And bam, there's no more waterlog. But it does, for some reason, cause this to spill in every single direction. It's very easy fix, just block it up. Now after removing that, bam, you now have finished your house. This layer could be like a little area you put in like uh, brewing stands. This layer could be like you can put a raft up here and put a bed on it so it could be your bedroom if you want. Although you have to swim up it a lot so I suggest against it. The great thing about this being your potion room is if you have like a potion stand here, you don't need a cauldron filled with water. You can literally just pick it up from the water you're standing in. But that is it complete. That is the hourglass. I tried to make this video as short as possible and it still came up past 20 minutes. So I do apologize for that. Here's me with Elytra trying to fly around and get some good shots. Um, and I'm doing it at night and eventually I do end up hitting the glass like a moron and falling down. So, you know, what are you gonna do? But this build was fun to do in, cr uh, not creative, uh, in survival. It was a challenge. I enjoyed it. Here's the top. Uh, don't worry about any mob spawning up there because it is half slabs. So they don't spawn up there anyway. So it is a safe spot. So yeah, that's the hourglass. It's been it's been great, but uh, hopefully you're okay with leaky roofs because you absolutely will have that. And thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!